to be. I'm gonna pull up in that right phone. Yeah. I ain't Mama say I got a bright phone. Cause yeah. they gon' hate it when I pull up in that right phone. I yeah. swear to God, I'm gon' pull up in that right phone. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gon' pull up in that right phone. Yeah. Oh, like I said, man, what to do? Buy my money TV. It's your boy King Chaos. We back in the building. Salute to the good guy gang. Salute to everybody out there in the money gang. Salute to everybody who's pressed subscribe on the channel. Salute to everybody who's followed us on Instagram and Twitter. Salute to everybody out there in the nation that's tapped in with Buy my money TV. We appreciate each one of y'all. If you if y'all subscribe. If y'all bought merch, whatever you doing to support the gang, man, we appreciate it, man. And welcome back. I want to talk a little bit about this um, GTX, um, their inaugural card. Uh, I have not seen all the battles. I didn't jump on here and talk crazy about Clean and Geechee or Averb and Pass or Mac Myron and Big T or, you know, Saint Chef Tress. None of these battles because I have not seen them. I'm not going to sit here and cap. They didn't send me the battle package. It was 60 bucks, and I, I, I got the URL app. I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I'm on top of all the RBE events. I'm on top of all these events. They don't pay me yet. I pay myself. I, I, I'll get this content to you guys. So I, I got on there. I looked at Rap Grid. That one was 60 bucks, man. Let's not let's not cap, man. Um, Disaster Assassino was the, was the, was the, um, the top of this card. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta look at it like, I wanna support Lush. I, I wanna support um, Disaster. I wanna support them in this new venture. I really, really was looking forward to see newer talent being brought forth. But I understand that with this first inaugural card, they had to bring you people you knew so you could buy into the new Grind Time Extreme brand, a GTX brand. So they brought you some names you knew and some names you might not know. So go check out that um, GTX card if you haven't. I'm sure it's sure available on Rap Grid. I'm sure they're going to drop. Um, and we'll talk more about these battles when I actually see the battles. Salute to everybody. You know, Mac Myron. Salute to Big T. Them is my Midwest guys. I always try to show love to cars these guys are on. So salute to them guys. Clean paper. Um, I heard he did crazy against Geechee in like a co-made event style battle. Um, disaster and Assassino. I heard that, you know, broke barriers across, you know, um, Spanish-speaking channels. So, it, you know, what they did. Uh, Chef Tres and Saint, um, Holmesy and Fate, um, Don Marino Reverse Live, just you know, just giving different people opportunities, man. I, I think that's dope. So I wanted to talk about it. I don't want y'all to think that that uh, about my money TV misses anything. I don't miss anything. If I if if I got time and I'm tapped in and I'm gonna watch it, uh, and when you know when those battles do drop, you know, on YouTube or whatever, we'll we'll double back down on. I'm not gonna sit here and cap to you. I didn't order this one. I didn't. Um, but I don't want to feel like I'm not giving y'all all the content and I'm not keeping y'all up to date. We're going to keep you up to date around here. Um, so that's a little overview of GTX. Um, if you didn't see it, go check them guys out. Those battles dropped already. Um, they got some dope content. Man, what I do want to talk about, though, is this Civil War card, man. Because the Civil War card is, is really next up. Um, if you think... On the 30th, we, we drop in, uh, they drop in Kings versus Queens on the 30th. Then on May the 7th, you double back down with the Civil War Part 2. Uh, probably an app-only event. Probably won't drop on Caffeine. Um, I do have that, but we'll see it. You know what I'm saying? When it does drop. Um, the car starts out with Swamp and Dot. We're going we gonna to peel back the layers with this one. So that's why I jumped into GTX because I thought it would be dope um, to go over the GTX and, you know, you know, lead from the Kings versus Queens into this card. And then uh, we're going to talk about that to live or die in L.A. card, too, man. Uh, like, I don't know who putting these together. And this Swamp and Dot, um, this Drugs and Franchise, this Sharon and Nun Nun, Jerry West and Lou Castro, all of these battles to me fall under the category of wh what are we doing? No, no disrespect, man. I want to see Swamp against better competition. 
who they who takes the battle, who they pair him up against is not always the best competition. Swamp and Dot, I, this is a this a do or die for Swamp to me, and it's a do or die for Dot to me. I think both of them has to have a great showing in order for them to be back. Dot went on a whole campaign of doing freestyles to get URL's attention to get back on the stage. Swamp has, you know, had great showings. Um, no matter what you say about him um, in the um, – him and uh, uh, Jones, Sirius Jones battle. Um, no matter what you say about his last battle before that, you know, Swamp has been trying to dig, you know, have that step out battle that separates him from the the, the people who came behind him. Everybody says that Easy came and surpassed what Swamp was doing. They were came in around the same time. They both had a breakout year that same year, but Easy continued to rise. He continued to capitalize on each situation. Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm if you look back in the history of this channel, I'm a Swamp fan. I am my listen, man. I am a Swamp fan. I'm a down south Midwest fan. I'm one of those guys who push for you guys because we we not on the east or west coast. We don't get the same looks. So we got to work harder when we get the opportunities, and that's what I want for Swamp. Um, I just don't think Dot was a competition I want to see him against. It, it's just it's not a pairing that I would have paired. It's not something that I'm, I'm, I'm in my brain I'm anticipating to see. If I'm wrong, y'all let me know in the comments. Is this a battle that y'all wanted to see? Because if it is, I, I'll, I'll take being wrong, but I have not. I'm in the spaces. I'm in the groups. I'm in the, I'm in the you know, I'm in everything that has to do with battle rap and I don't this is not something that people were talking about or highly anticipating I would have I, I would have loved to see Piranha and Swamp on this card would have been a dope look for Piranha would have been a dope look for Swamp because you you would have had somebody who was newer and hungry which would have brought the best out of both of them I don't think that this brings the best out of Swamp we've heard Swamp say that he's getting people he does not want and that does not make him you know, get up in the morning. That does not make him work harder. So I don't think you get the best swamp or the best dot out of this. I think you may get a dot that 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 is hungry out of this. And I hope that we get a swamp that goes crazy because it's gonna be in uh, North Carolina. So I, you know, I hope that we get a, a dope battle out of this. I'm gonna go swamp two one because I like swamp style, but it's nothing. It's it, you know, this is not one of those battles that I just been crazy looking for. And and I'm I'm keep I'm gonna start giving y'all that real man that real opinion that really how I feel like none of, I, I'm sugarcoat I, no nobody is my friend nobody pays my bills I you know I know I, I dip in and out of the groups I know a lot of these the discords I know a lot of these guys from you know being in the spaces with them you know about my money TV is in the spaces we everywhere so they know about about my money TV but nobody pays my bills so I gotta tell y'all the truth man. Um, drugs and franchise. Drugs has had a great year. Franchise has not been here since the start of the 2020 season where he was booked and couldn't get back over here. So I, I'm interested to in see if this is a do or die for franchise. Franchise has been one of those guys who um, has been slated as a puncher, um, you know, a moment guy. Drugs has been putting together phenomenal rounds what he just did against Lou was phenomenal um his battle even though it was a just loss uh, uh with my guy true foe was a great battle so the rounds that he sketched out or sketched out in the last few times has been crazy uh I would say drugs if you ask me just the level in which drugs has been performing this is a 2-1 Three O drugs to me. Uh, I'm not a stupid big franchise fan. It's just the uh, style of battle rap, the believability, all those things is what I like. I believe drugs. I believe what drugs says. I believe drugs is who he says. I'm not not to say that I don't believe franchise is who he says. It's just when they rap, which one sways me more? It tends to be drugs. And if drugs gets three rounds out of what I'm talking about. It's going to be hard for Franchise to beat that. He's going to have to have some crazy moments because Drugs have, have had great competition and put in great rounds and got greatness back out of it. We haven't seen that from Franchise in a couple of years, so I got to give it to Drugs 
for that. You know, just what I've seen, recent transaction, I've seen drugs going crazy. I have not seen franchise going crazy. Civil War is what it's bringing us. It's bringing us Sharon versus none none. Now, a lot of people are, are laughing at this one. It's white on white crime, you know, this, that, and the other. I like this battle. I think this is a battle that we need. They are the pre preeminent white guys on URL right now. None, none has had no matter no matter what you call it. None, none has have great battles. Win, lose, or draw. None, none has had great battles in his last few. If you say he lost versus Snake or not, he was great. If you say he lost lost versus, I think was it Rum and None, none on the one round. Who had the one round? Let's see. Let's see, cause I I can forget none, none. You know a lot of these guys. Who did none none have on band? Let's see. Yeah, it was wrong. It was wrong. So none none and wrong. I was wrong. Sharon has had great competition. No matter who which who you think won or lost with the JC, I think I called it JC. Um, but Sharon did amazing. Sharon walks people down. Danny Meyer, Sharon did amazing. Sharon walks people down. Sharon and Nun Nun is a great battle. Now, is it something again that me or you asked for? Maybe not. But I think out of this card, this is one of the battles that I could have foreseen coming. And a lot of these are like left left wing to me. They're not something that I I, I look forward and see. So Sharon and Nun Nun, this is this is really a hard one to call. Nun Nun has the believability. Sharon has the rap ability. So this is gonna be one of those battles where it's going. I think Nun Nun is trying to separate himself from the Sharons, from the the fracks, those kind of guys. So now you have none none sitting here on url and trying to be one of the best battlers and not the best white battlers so now he's going up against what they say is the best white battler so he has to separate himself in this battle um i will call this a none none two one based on believability but based on what i believe none none can do but definitely sharon can can steal this battle I, I, just my thoughts. So, none of Sharon two one, Lou Castro, Jerry West. Again, man, this is like a parallel universe right here. <laughs> this is a Daddy Myers battle. Jerry West is Lou Castro two or three years ago. Jerry West was getting put on every card against great competition, giving great battles but possibly losing. That's what Jerry West did. Lou Castro has been doing the same thing this last six months to a year. He's been everywhere, but possibly losing those battles. So now they meet each other. Who will win? Jerry West, EFB, Lou Castro, O'Goonies, Jerry West, very skilled puncher. Lou Castro, very skilled entertainer. Great rapper. Makes great music. Go download that new Lou Castro. It's like, we like robots. He made sure that we say it. Get his new mixtape. You know, follow me on Facebook right now. <laughs> I like Lou Castro, man. Let's not get it wrong. I like Jerry West. I like Lou Castro. I like both of these guys. Uh, um, I like what Jerry West was able to do in a time where he was in front of us every day. Um, I think that both of them suffer from the same thing, that their performances, no matter how good they may have seemed, were not enough to win. And now they both have to step into that spotlight of winning in order to move forward. A lot of these 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 matchups, the last four matchups, yeah, Sh Sharon and none, none, not, not as much. Drugs, not as much. But a lot of these guys, I feel like, are on the bubble. I feel like Civil War is... I'm on the bubble. Do do or are we gonna fill that bubble in 
or are we gonna bust that bubble? Are they gonna are they gonna be out of here, or are they gonna check it off and they're gonna be on this next card? And I think that's what a lot of these first matchups in Civil War are. Are you are you going to win? When you win Civil War, it's like you go on to ascend. You go on to first stream. You go on to getting those names that you're looking for. I think Luke Castro has the the performance ability. I think in a Civil War and the Lincoln Theater where they're gonna be, um, he can pull it out. It's an app only event. Jerry West is a great puncher. Jerry West can also win this battle. Uh recent transactions. I Lou is on 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 a, on a losing streak in reality. Um it's great, great performances, but losses nonetheless. So you know, this one's hard for me to call. I haven't seen a lot from Jerry West in the last two years. We haven't seen a lot of Jerry West in the last two years. I say that again. What I don't have a lot to base this performance off of. I want to see Lou Castro excel because I like his I like his attitude. I like what he's been able to do in music. I also like what Jerry West was able to do in his time. So I like to see both of these guys excel because I like both of their styles. But I think they're both in the same predicament. They must win. They must separate themselves from the pack of the guys that were up under them on this card because they're above them on this card, yet they have not won. Sharon and none of them have both won. Drugs has won. Franchise has won. Swamp has won. Dot has won. And they have been putting in a lot of work. Jerry West and Luke Castro have had great battles with losses. And that tells y'all a lot about what URL battlers go where on the card because this card has Lou Castro and Jerry West at the top, but their records are not at the top. So we got we gotta we gotta think about this. And when we talk about this to live and die LA card, y'all see a lot of this from left field battles put together. I I don't know what's going on. I don't. Do we, we need better A and R or better better better, you know, um matchups better productions in the matchups better you know somebody else putting these matchups together smack and bees ain't putting these matchups together they didn't sit down and put this civil war card together i just don't believe it i don't believe smack and beasley called swamp or dot i'm sorry they didn't they didn't put these together somebody else put these matchups together said these are the guys that we're looking to either Sixel or die. This should be to live or die in L.A. To live or die in Raleigh, North Carolina, because most of these guys are on the bubble to me. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win, Luke Castle with Jerry West, um, Sharon, none, none. I got none, none. Drugs franchise, I got drugs. Swamp dot, I got swamp. Now, DNA and official versus Jack Boy Man and First Lady Flames is dope. The first of its kind intergender two on two on a URL stage. I think it's gonna be a crazy battle. These all four of these people battled a week before on the Kings versus Queens, then they come back a week later to battle together against each other. I I I think that Jack Boy and First Lady Flames sh should have better chemistry. And I think that DNA and official are going to have better, better written, better punches, better uh, metaphors, whatever it may be. I think Jack Boy Man and First Lady Flames should flow better together because of their relationship, because of, you know, possibly sparring together in the past, things of that nature. If we were talking about DNA versus Jack Boy or official versus First Lady, who would you have winning those battles? DNA, Jack Boy. Just in your mind. DNA, right? Maybe Jack Boy. I don't know. It's who you like. Official, First Lady Flames. Official, right? Maybe. First Lady Flames. See, I have it. I probably would have DNA versus Jack Boy, but I would probably have First Lady Flames versus Official. But you could have either way, and you wouldn't be wrong because these battles have to combine the best of both worlds. 
And this one I'll say, man, um, I will go with Jack Boy and First Lady Flames because I, I'm scared of DNA official not having the chemistry to make it happen. Uh, I know J Jack Boy and First Lady definitely will have the chemistry. So I'm going to give it 2 1. Jack Boy, main First Lady Flames. I might be wrong in this one. And it is what it is. You might be wrong in every one of them. Sue Surf versus Cortez. We've been waiting on this battle. This battle might have lost its steam. It is headlining the Civil War II card. Sue Surf versus Cortez. I think they should drop this on YouTube. Um, you can go back and look at my old vlog and see who I have in Surf versus Cortez. See how I broke it down. I have Surf. You may have Cortez for whatever reason. If you want to know why I have Surf, I want you to go back to my old vlog and see how I broke down that match. This was about the other guys on this. For me, I picked Surf to win. If you want to know why I picked Surf to win, go look at the past vlog. Run those numbers up. Thank y'all again, man. Everybody who tapped in, tuned in, who subscribe, who follows, who buys. I appreciate each one of y'all. About my money, TV, King Chaos, Good Guy Gang. We love our supporters. We love the money team. I appreciate y'all. I will be tapping in. We will be talking about more battle rap. This is what we do up here. Make sure you hit that subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the bell so I'll post notifications on. And every time I drop content, you'll get it first. Salute.